The Seven Heavenly Virtues is a classic interpretation of seven basic concepts that will lead your soul to glory. They differ somewhat from the three theological virtues, love, hope, faith, and the four cardinal virtues combined, prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude. In alphabetical order, here are the big seven, each of which conveniently corresponds to one of the seven deadly sins, along with some trope examples demonstrating each. Note that this is just one list. There are plenty of others. Charity, opposite of greed, being generous towards others. A willingness, or even desire, to help others and better the world, no matter the cost to your personal self. The path of a graceful and noble spirit. The Good Samaritan is this virtue personified. Generosity, charity self-sacrifice the term should not be confused with the more restricted modern use of the word charity to mean benevolent giving in christian theology charity or love is the greatest of the three theological virtues love in the sense of an unlimited loving kindness towards all others is held to be the ultimate perfection of the human spirit because it is said to both glorify and reflect the nature of god such love is self-sacrificial Confusion can arise from the multiple meanings of the English word love. The love that is characters is distinguished by its origin, being divinely infused into the soul, and by its residing in the will rather than emotions, regardless of what emotions it stirs up. This love is necessary for salvation, and with it, no one can be lost. This virtue is the mainstay of the atoner, and hurting hero. An extremely strong sense of charity, to the point, that it overcomes common sense, becomes honor before reason. The angel who embodies the virtue of charity is Michael. Chastity opposite of lust, being unhindered by worldly desires. The ability to overcome temptation and show self-discipline. Note that the fulfillment of the virtue is not through lack of being tempted, but rather of making the conscious decision to better yourself rather than do what you know is morally wrong abstaining from sexual conduct according to one's state in life. The practice of courtly love and romantic friendship. Cleanliness through cultivated good health and hygiene, and maintained by refraining from intoxicants. To be honest with oneself, one's family, one's friends, and to all of humanity. Embracing of moral wholesomeness and achieving purity of thought through education and betterment. The ability to refrain from being distracted and influenced by hostility, temptation or corruption. The angel who embodies the virtue of chastity is Uriel. Diligence opposite of sloth, being steadfast in work. Despite the problems that surface, no matter what stands in their way, one with this virtue will accomplish their goals and stay true to their core beliefs. If there is work to be done, they will do their best to get it finished, and properly. A zealous and careful nature in one's actions and work. Decisive work ethic, steadfastness in belief, fortitude, and the capability of not giving up. Budgeting one's time. Monitoring one's own activities to guard against laziness. Upholding one's convictions at all times, especially when no one else is watching. Integrity. This is also the virtue most likely to be held by the anti-hero. The angel who embodies the virtue of diligence is Gabriel. Humility opposite of pride, being modest in self. What is fame, but trapping for the weak? While those with this virtue may not seem like much at first, when all bets are down they will triumph over the loud and crass, if not in sheer power, then at least in poise. This virtue in its purest form is not self-hatred, but rather a sense of inner knowledge that one does not need to prove their greatness or bardas attitude to the outside world to actually be great or bardas. Modest behavior, selflessness, and the giving of respect. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. It is a spirit of self-examination. A hermeneutic of suspicion toward yourself and charity toward people you disagree with. The courage of the heart necessary to undertake tasks which are difficult, tedious or unglamorous, and to graciously accept the sacrifices involved. 
reverence for those who have wisdom and those who selflessly teach in love, giving credit where credit is due, not unfairly glorifying one's own self, evaluating one's own accomplishments no differently than if they were someone else's accomplishments, being faithful to promises, no matter how big or small they may be, refraining from despair and the ability to confront fear and uncertainty or intimidation, the common consensus is that of all the virtues, humility is the most important as it tends to be the foundation that supports the others. Humility allows one to admit they are not perfect and the willingness to learn from mistakes to be a better person. The angel who embodies the virtue of humility is Raphael. Kindness opposite of envy, being good towards all life. Everything will be okay somehow is the motto of those that follow this virtue. Whether times are good or tough, those holding this virtue true to heart will endure in wishing the best for everyone. Charity, compassion and friendship for its own sake. Empathy and trust without prejudice or resentment. Unselfish love and voluntary kindness without bias or spite. Having positive outlooks and cheerful demeanor. To inspire kindness in others. While this virtue may seem light-hearted, beware, if the strength of this virtue in a kind person is not enough, yet they depend on it in the face of adversity, it will break the kind one. The angel who embodies the virtue of kindness is Ramiel. Patience opposite of wrath, being peaceful in goal. A willingness to forgive and show mercy. In the face of adversity they may hesitate, but in the end, they will endure stability, reject revenge, and accept the faults of others without prejudice. Forbearance and endurance through moderation. Resolving conflicts and injustice peacefully, as opposed to resorting to violence. Accepting the grace to forgive. To show mercy to sinners. Creating a sense of peaceful stability and community rather than suffering, hostility, and antagonism. The major fight involving this virtue will involve sheathing your sword. And if, in the end, a true follower of this virtue cannot win the fight on their terms, they will face death with dignity. The angel who embodies the virtue of patience is Azrael. Temperance opposite of gluttony, being controlled in self. The moral decision slopes encountered through life are slippery and it is easy to descend into unintended but well-intentioned extremism. Restraint, temperance, justice, constant mindfulness of others and one's surroundings, practicing self-control, abstention, moderation and deferred gratification, prudence to judge between actions with regard to appropriate actions at a given time, proper moderation between self-interest versus public interest and against the rights and needs of others, that analogy considered, this virtue is like using crampons made out of justice. Those in command of this virtue realize the legitimacy in several different points of view and maintain a neutral perspective dealing with issues. This virtue often leads to being able to take a third option. The angel who embodies the virtue of temperance is Cassiel.